So it is quarter past three on a weekday. I'm on Moor Central. This is Jake, otherwise known as Steady94 to me. Hype Flat 41 back in the day. Um, and we are outside Corn Exchange. For those of you that have watched our Christmas Day special, um, go and check that video out if you want to have it. It will be in the corners and it will be in the description. Um, we did mention that we would be looking into doing another race um, for New Year's Day. And lo and behold, we're back in the same spot. Um, and we are doing another same race. What, what are the chances? Yeah, in the same outfit as well. <laughs> what are the chances? But anyway, it is quarter past three on a weekday, although the schools are finished. I mean, it is still a weekday and still we are good. It's still Christmas week, sort of the festive holiday season. And in this video, we're going to ask an age old question in the local area. What is the quickest way to get out of Leeds to get to Bradford at peak time? So obviously quarter past three is just before major peak time because otherwise I don't want to be sat in traffic for ages and ages. Um, but quarter past three gives you a rough idea when buses start to be busier, roads start to get busier, trains start to get busier. And what we're going to do is we're going to test the age-old question of is it quicker by train or bus between Leeds and Bradford? I'm going to be getting the bus um, and Jake is going to be on the train. And um, We roughly know what time the trains and the buses are, but we're obviously we've not told each other our times, we've not told each other um, what um, services we're getting, as that would be spoilers. Um, yeah. And we're not even... They're probably yeah. roughly going to take the same amount of time. And they roughly exactly take the same amount of time, including connections and things like that. So it's going to be a very exciting race. This is going to be a tight one, is this? This one is actually going to be close. This one is going to be close. You've got to run that way. I've got to go that way. To you're going, station, you're going that way. <laughs> Yeah, well you can't, you've station, got to get the train, the oh, train yeah, yeah, only. Yeah, and um, from they starting here years. at the Corn Exchange in Leeds to sort of simulate having been out into the shops or doing your work or going to uni or college or in Jake's case carrying a bag of bags that I imagine is going to um, discuss while he's on the train. <laughs> um, we're simulating um, obviously travelling from the middle of Leeds um, which is the quickest way to Bradford, specifically Bradford Interchange, yeah. specifically outside the Greggs. At Bradford Interchange. It's almost like that phone booth in the last video gave us a clue as to where we might be going. Yes, it did. It did without without any scripting. Yeah. And but yes, again, do go and check out the Christmas Day, especially from Tom Eddie. But for now, though, the time is now 16 minutes past three. Yeah. I think a countdown um, from three will do it, and yes. then we'll be on our way. So should we get ready with some nice Absolutely, hybrid going behind? I'm gonna have to actually bolt. Yeah, he's gonna have to bolt and get the I'm ticket. Gonna have to run. <laughs> That's yeah. going to be fun. Anyway, so are we ready? Are yes. we ready on the three? Hang on. Are we ready? Yeah. Yep. Three, two, one, one. and I will see, see you in Rex. Bradford. Okay, my boys, we are continuing another race. Um, this one is leads to Bradford. Uh, the thing is with this one, I am on the train. I'm going to be honest, I was feeling confident about this um, until I realised that Jake was um, absolutely legging it to the train station. I have uh, nine, no, 11 minutes to run from Cornex down to the train station. Although I'm starting off with a steady walk now over to the bus station, um, I'm going to be um, getting an X6 bus, um, one of the expresses between Leeds and Bradford, um, that leaves at 29 minutes past. So I've got a nice, as I say, steady 10 minute walk to the bus station that's just ahead of us. And for those of you that know Leeds, um, and then hopefully um, a nice um, modern 71 plate street deck, um, double decker bus with USBs and free Wi Fi um, to make the run to Bradford a bit easier. Get through the barriers. I have already, well, I'm not free to pay my ticket. I just actually need to make the purchase. I've got it set up ready. Uh, I just need to put pay. Get through the barriers. Um, and find the train which should be, I think it's a 158 on platform 12A. So here we are in the bus station, our X6 looks to be running bang on time from stand 15. Hi 
you all right? I'm good, thank you. Ta. Thank you for connecting me for stopping traffic coming through here so I can quickly dip around. So there we go, so we're, bang on, we're off bang on time from the bus station, hopefully we can keep the time up um, and gain a couple of minutes. Um, the X6 is timetabled um, to be given quite a lot of time end to end, however luckily at the moment um, there's no timing points in between, so theoretically once we've set off we should just keep going. It's important to know that with the X6 timings I did get quite lucky um, because um, sort of since um, the latest service changes the X6 has been reduced in frequency quite phenomenally. It used to be every 10 minutes um, at one point when the newer street decks came in it was like every 10 to 12 then it became every 10 again um, over sort of like 2021 on the start of this year um, but since the arrival of these new street decks um, the X6 got cut back to between every 20 and every 30 minutes um, that means that um, X6 is on a morning especially going into Leeds and peak time about 5 o'clock I don't know if we'll get it too much now but usually at about 5 o'clock coming out of um, Leeds the X6s are epically overcrowded so it'll be interesting to see um, how this goes um, and hopefully um, with the lack of um, school traffic and things it is usually about at this time we'll make quite a swift run over to Bradford. Uh, on time. go for an X6 because that's the fastest bus between Leeds and Bradford. The 72 takes nearly an hour. The uh, X11 um, takes nearly an hour. I know that I've gone from the bus station but I guess it's time to go for that. I don't think mine's in yet but uh, yeah he will likely go for the X6 because that is approximately 35 minutes. So if he times it to get one Immediately, this is going to be a very close race. So there we go, literally out of Leeds city centre in record time taken us just nine minutes um, to get all the way from the bus station up Eastgate, up the Hedrow and now out of the main city centre so we'll get round Armla Gyratory now and then it's pretty much on the straight main road all the way to Bradford however as I do say that that doesn't look like good traffic ahead hopefully it's not that bad when we get there No, 158, 754, 158,754. Let's Straight through the bus priority lights, that's what we like to see. Ok, 
Yeah, I'm on the train. Got my drink, got a little table, and um, yeah, I can just sit here and chill for 20 to 30 minutes. Having just overtaken about seven or eight cars going up and um, standing the bypass, we've now just shot past a load of them sat in the traffic. Um, thankfully, although it's a little bit naughty, the driver has just pushed in um, so that we can get into the left hand lane into Bradford. It's probably saved overall about three or four minutes um, compared to other ones by just flooring it all the way up the bypass. It's looking quite good for us on the X6 um, because this is definitely been one of the quietest and quickest runs I've had on this route for a very long time um, proving that quick runs on the X6 are still possible um, and hopefully will give us a bit of a chance um, in winning when we get into Bradford hopefully Jake's had um, whatever training was running for him missed or he's had to wait or there's been a delay in Leeds because then we should easily easily win and be the first ones to Greg's Pretty much in record time we've arrived um, into Bradford, we just left the stop at Broadway and we're now going to be taking the shortcut part, the new shortcut on the X6 past the traffic lights straight into Bradford Interchange 
although the X6 was timed at 50 minutes, um, I thought that that was going to be incredibly tight. Um, it's got us here in pretty much, let's have a little look, in just over 35 minutes. So despite the timetable saying um, it should take 50 because of the lack of timing points I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, it means that it's only taken us just over 35 minutes to get here. So if Jake's had any issues with the trains overcrowded and missed the train, there's been any delays, um, this is definitely um, going to be a tight one. I think I'll have this easily in the bag, but even if he hasn't, it's going to be an incredibly tight one regardless, um, because this has been a very, very good run. Um, we've done very, very well for time on it. Thank you. So there we go, because I'm feeling competitive, we'll do a bit of minor running down to Greg's, because you never know, it might make the difference, because it is going to be quite a tight one, is it? So, in fairness, we've done very, very well for time, it's taken us just under 40 minutes on that XX, so hopefully when we get down these stairs, it won't be there. And a very steady walk down the stairs to Greg's. Oh, that's upsetting. That's actually really upsetting. How long have you been here? Are you looking for steady? Yeah. Or he's delayed, he's on another yeah. train. How long have you been here? Uh, you don't want to know. Yeah. So I watched your bus on bus times. Yeah. I wanted, to, I wanted to see what time you was due to set off. You set off bang on the same time I set off. Oh. At half past three. Seriously? Yeah. There was like two minutes in it. I think I set off at 27. And in fairness, and you set off was, at it, was it 158? You what, it was? It was. I saw, so, it go, so, I saw it go across at 22 past the bus station nice. and it, it was like this horrible feeling sunk in and I was like, oh my gosh. If oh, he's on that, I'm absolutely that. screwed. But I kept optimistic because that was one of the quickest X6 runs I've had. Your bus did not hang about. I think he also maybe ran his last timing point early because no. it, it came up six no minutes early. Points. No timing points. So straight no timing points. No, through. so straight through. You were straight down um, bypass. Eight minutes out of Leeds. Took us that's, eight minutes to get out of Leeds really City good. Centre. Um, I'm standing the bypass, he overtook about half a dozen cars, shot in the road at last minute, and genuinely it was oh the best God. run that you could have asked for. You don't get that often on the next no, six. No, 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 it really was nice not. and quiet as well, it was absolutely amazing. I feel, if anything, it doesn't really reflect what rush hours usually like, but... No, but you never to be know fair, these my things. Train weren't even busy. There were a few know. waiting, yeah. but, it, but I think but it was a free carriage, so... It but to say that's busy. half free on a weekday, and that is absolutely really amazing. Well. Half day, half free on a weekday, even in the holidays, is, is very, very impressive. Christmas week, holidays, yeah. half free. I have, that's I, probably I, the best look you've ever had on an X6. I cannot believe that. You see, you should have won that. I think. The, yeah, the, the rule basically with this is, um, if the train usually, because the trains aren't as frequent as the buses between Leeds and Bradford, if you'd have been waiting for a train, Jake, and you'd have had to wait a bit longer, I'd have got here easily yeah. before you. Um, I imagine the bus is also slightly cheaper than the train. Um, I use train power. You should probably use train power, guys. We don't get paid to promote them, but no. they do save you money. They'll find ways to make sure you get the cheapest mm. fare possible. And I paid three pounds seven. But you see the two pound singles on the buses. Yeah, you paid so two pounds on a bus. Even for that little bit, um, with the frequency of the buses, the fact that even if you miss an X6, you can get sent to two or something like that. Um, or even an X11 yes, if you're exactly. Yes, in this situation, Jake was, was quicker with the train. Yeah. However, um, it that does prove 
that if for whatever reason um, the bus um, would have left earlier and the train, it wouldn't have got as lucky with the train as it did. Yeah. And there wouldn't have been as much time in it. And I had, yeah. I don't know, seven minutes. And I'd have, I'd have won so, by a mile. Yeah. But these things happen. And for now though, I really hope you've enjoyed um, the New Year's um, Day special for 2023. Um, it's weird sort of having the camera there and me not holding it. I do hope <laughs> you have enjoyed the special. If you have done, um, do be sure to check out the Christmas special, the race that we did yeah. across Leeds. If you have already, do go and check out that video. That was an absolute belter of a run. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, and do make sure you subscribe to the Anmore Central YouTube channel and like this video for more content like this and subscribe to it so you don't miss out on anything from the real life industry. And head to his channel as well, um, Steady94. Um, oh Lord Steady or whatever, it, whatever it's called now. I'm going to head to Jake's channel, it will be in the top at uh, some point during this video and in the description. So do go and check out um, his channel as well and subscribe to it. We'll do many more races and things like this in 2023. It's one of our brand new series, I'm quite excited for it. Um, you'll also, there'll also be videos um, releasing on Jake's channel of some of the behind the scenes of the other race that we did on Christmas Day. That should be releasing pretty much the same week and this video's out to do yes. ish uh, so yeah I'll, I'll delay it a day so it, yeah yeah so, you'll yeah, so go first. and check that out and you'll be able to see a bit behind the scenes of um, how this has all worked and what we've done in between but for now though i really hope you've enjoyed this one and we will see you all um, in the next video that we make and um, probably another race again so goodbye for now guys see you later guys bye